Hello and welcome back to Studio Dragoon Gaming. I am your host, Dragoon X77, and this is the Chun Li playthrough for Street Fighter Alpha. It's been <laughs> quite a while since I've uh, gotten back to these. I let Mandatory Mugen take a little bit too much control there. Um, just that art and just catching up on a lot of things, but. We're back on schedule, and we're going to finish strong with this playthrough. But before we get into that, we're going to start with our Patreon shoutouts. Brandon Higgins! <laughs> My inaugural studio dra uh, Dragoon, crew of Dragoon member, and Emperor Megas! <laughs> You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for both your contributions to this channel, my art, and just everything that is Studio Dragoon. And if you want to be cool, like Brandon Higgins and Emperor Megas, go to patreon.com forward slash Studio Dragoon for art, shout outs like these guys just got, special Discord access, and so much more. So let's get into this playthrough. Like I said, this is Chun Li. And I would have to say she had like one of the bigger stories in this game. She's walking in, you know, trying to find who killed her father. So and our first match starts off with Soda. And Kikusho finish with 83 seconds left on the clock. Shouldn't waste no time. I have to say, of all the female fighting game characters, I would have to say that, I mean, start off, she was one of the very first, if not the first. She has this awesome storyline. Awesome move set. Lots of pushback on that Kikusho. And that's Soda. Out of the way. Chun Li really did not waste. I, I didn't waste time on this one, did I? Next up is Birdie, who I'll be doing my next episode on. Fun fact, this stage was inspired by a Bruce Lee movie, I have to see if I can remember the name, I'll probably have to put that somewhere in the video at some point, but I know the scene was actually a pretty epic one because it was him and Chuck Norris, was it Fist of Fury, I'm not sure, I'll have to look it up. Senretsu Kyaku finish! Pretty decent combo there. That's a combo I tend to have learned in the arcades. We got throw finish there. What I'm talking about. <laughs> Oops, sorry. No, Gomene. Chunli always had that sense of humor about her. You no. Know, which I thought was a pretty cool aspect of her character. Next up is Adon. We got a surprise here in this video. Another uh, secret character reveal. And it kind of caught me off guard. Kind of like uh, a wild Akuma appearing. It's more underwhelming, but you know, it's still, it's still worth it. And I probably shouldn't have alpha counted that. I knew better and I still went for it. 
A lot of you know, all the characters in this iteration of Street Fighter Alpha have only one alpha counter. So in my mind, it made for better strategy because you had to know how to use it, when to use it. You couldn't just, like, throw it out there, you know. <laughs> hmm, top down on the Jaguar knee. Oh, wow, you, a lot of pushback on that uh, Kikusho. With a Jaguar breed assault. Got him back with the Kikusho in that one. And I should not have jumped at that. I really shouldn't have. Tensho Kyaku finish! I'm also gonna admit that this playthrough was by far the hardest one because of Chun Li's boss. And next up is Super Charlie! This playthrough is going to be pretty interesting. To be honest, I like the way his story came out in Street Fighter Alpha 2 more than this one. There were so many people after uh, Shadow Lord in this game here. Hoping for chip damage and it did not happen. Crowd's making it rain. <laughs> In typical New Orleans fashion. I find that Tenshi Kyaku, even though it wasn't quick catching like Sharokin, it it had its uses. Kind of like that. <laughs> No, the Senretsu Kyaku into uh, Tensho Kyaku finish there. Perfect! I didn't realize how easy it was to get a perfect in this game, but I guess, you know, playing it so many times. Next up, it's Ryu! It's probably like second hardest fight in the entire game. Nice tech. I tend to pay attention where Ryu's throwing me in comparison to other fights that I'll have in this game. I don't know why that is. I seem to just have this natural ref reflex for knowing that Ryu at some point is going to just start throwing me like talking about it I think that's also due to Ryu having the same or in my mind similar AI to Akuma keeping him in that corner good job I think it was a little bit too early on that Tenshio Kyaku Ouch! <laughs> Level 3 Shinku Hadoken. And my guard meter's still going down. Ouch. You can never know, think that we're using. No, not in a fight. Like I showed in. I think that was the Ken video. I think Ken and Adon videos I showed you where you, know, you can't underestimate see tech again I'm now anybody else probably could have gotten a clean throw me um, Ryu nope got him back with a level 3 Kikusho ouch now that's how you end the match <laughs> that's how you end it next up is Ken or is it? Here comes a new challenger. 
a wild Dan Hibiki appears. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with Dan Hibiki and how he came about, in story, he's the son of the man who got killed by Sagat when Sagat was about 15 years old and he was the Muay Thai champion, probably like the youngest Muay Thai champion. It was in a Game Pro strategy guide I had years and years ago. But as a created character, he was a joke character that was supposed to be a rib on the main three characters in Art of Fighting, an SK fighting game. He's a mixture of Robert Garcia, Rio Double Perfect Finish, Ryo Sakazaki, and Yuri Sakazaki. And He got better over year over the years, but he's still just that joke character. Our undercover uppercut nut brother number two, and I flipped on that one. This would be obviously a better match. You know, Kenzie I just in the last couple of videos just haven't been up to snuff. Man, even back then he was just this kick master. Not much like Robert, but in the same mindset. Oh, and that lead into that Sharyurapa. I was expecting blowback on that Kikusho, and that did not happen. I happen to like Ken's theme in this, uh, this particular version of Alpha. I don't know, the one for two... It was okay. Where this one had more ambiance of just how laid back and easygoing Ken was. Ouch, just eat me alive with those kicks. Yep, he's gone berserker now. Not like not as bad as he did in two turbo. He just uppercut you to death. Tensho Kyaku finish. Greatest Sharyu Rup, uh, Sharyu Ken. Push back with the Kikusho. Show Kyaku finish. And I find with Chun Li, you have to, as my friend Ulysses would say, you have to zone really well with her. You can't just rush. And next up is Sagat! I usually hate fighting Sagat because he's just, he's just relentless, especially in this version. Shokyaku, you gotta be very reactionary with Sagat if you want that opening because he's not gonna give it to you. I'm telling you right now. And there was my first mistake. I'm trying to put too much pressure on Sagat. And I, was, I went to the well too early on that one as well. Oh man, there he is. <laughs> he grabbed my head. Ouch. Yes, and you can send Retsu Kyaku through fireballs, especially with Sagat, because of just how t 
tall he is. So, old, old trick if you're looking to get into Street Fighter Alpha. With Balrog and uh, 2 Turbo, you, yeah, you were, it was a little bit more manual. It didn't just happen. Nice! Cashed him while he was jumping in the air. But yeah, you could phase through some of that stuff easily. Oh! Let's stomp finish. I never really was big on using that move. And it's bison time, folks. Voice over time as well. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Stuff it, bison! You're under arrest for drug dealing. You and Shadow are finished. I have no time to waste on you. And I want y'all to notice here in this fight with Bison, it's not, it's, nothing about this is easy. He's l easily the, the hardest boss in this game. If y'all only knew how many Continues I burnt on this guy. This heavy handed on everything. Alpha counters, teleports, that psycho crusher moving. I just another thing, you don't want to alpha counter a psycho crusher. At least with Chun Li's alpha counter for sure, because it hits too low. It's a waste of super meter, and I look like I took that round. You cannot slack up on this guy. Heavy handed with the throws. I pressured him, and he's still. He's still. Up, oh, I dizzied him. Kikusho finish. Let's get to those voiceovers. Give up, Bison. It's over now. Such anger and such a beautiful woman. Join me or die. Either way, I win. No thanks to both. You're as stupid as your father. So I'll kill you like I killed him. No! Father! Chun Li, are you alright? And the thing about Chun Li's ending, it played out like such a tragedy because she, you know, before this, she didn't even know who killed her dad. All she knew that, you know, Shadow was tied in. And then she comes to find out, oh, well, Bison either did it or had something to do with it. But as the story goes on, you know, you find out there were more people involved. Things got really, really complicated. And it's. No different add ons to the story, which in the modern day would have amounted to DLC, kind of like what you saw in Street Fighter 4 and now Street Fighter 5, which is heavy handed on DLC. And I will make that, I, I'm still creating that video. So, you guys, thanks for showing up for this video. If you're new to the channel, like, upvote, share, and subscribe. And, you know, if you love the video, if you love what we're doing here at Studio Dragoon, patreon.com forward slash Studio Dragoon, like I said at the top of the video, art, special Discord access, shout outs, and so much more. And I will see you guys in the next one. 
Later.